been a long time. Nothing else involving Kill Switch had been turning up, and I had begun to focus on other things and started to forget about Kill Switch altogether. That was until late last night I received another notification that someone had sent me a private message on YouTube. To protect their identity, for now at least, I have deleted the user's name. The message was, the truth, it will be uncovered, and then a download link. I was very leery about accessing the link, and even more leery that the download both required a download manager and was a very small file size. I figured it would be another prank or perhaps even a virus, but my curiosity of this subject hadn't been piqued like this in a long time. Upon downloading and extracting the file, I was given this folder containing numerous WLD files, an ActiveX control file, a VB script file, and two text files. I opened the text file labeled Runtime first, but the entire thing was written in Czech to be expected. I went to the internet to translate it and was given we appreciate your business. We hope you, that you can look forward to the experience. As you know, we'll give the best of our efforts to our games, just for people like you. Now, if you would be so kind and type the code from the back of the instruction manual below so your game will install correctly, thank you. I decided to take a look at the other text file labeled in rough translation to instructions. Once again, they were in Czech, and they read, Thank you for your purchase. We hope that you can rejoice in the experience. Download box runtime and system files, which you already have with you. Enter the code on the back side of the manual to the text file, runtime, and you have done it right. Damn it. There's a box on the first text document where a serial number or a product key can be entered. It would seem the install application will not run unless that text file has been altered and had the correct serial number added to it. I tried, but I just received an error message. I have tried to open the WLD files to see if they are legitimate, but the only programs I have been able to find that can handle this file type are either foreign or cost a fair sum of money. So, I now turn to my viewers. Those that are programming savvy or know how to delve into the internet, we are the closest we've ever been to determining the truth on this, or at least seeing what this mythical game could have been like, even if this is just a reproduction. I'm not going to falsify the story or candy coat it. I'm going to shed light on it and expose it for all of you to see so we can know the truth. But I need help with this. I need help either examining these WLD files for legitimacy or help finding a serial code to make the install application run properly. I've always felt a connection with Killswitch. It was strange how shortly after uploading my take on the story, I get messaged from the alleged Carvina Corporation as well as a supposed family member of an older Carvina Corporation worker who has copies of the games apparently. I'm obviously a bit too deep into it to give up now, so I'm relying on the help of my viewers to shed light on Kill Switch.